Hello, I am Max and you're watching Cool Stuff in Weird Cars and today we're working on the Ram to make it like a quadfecta of working on all of my different vehicles, well making videos of all my different vehicles in the past like five videos. As you can tell, it's a little jacked up. So, I am actually going to be doing a tire rotation because this truck hasn't had one done since I got it and it's been 13,000 miles since I got it. So we're doing that. The biggest problem was, I already threw it away, there was a lug nut on this wheel specifically that was rounded off. And the guys at Valvoline, which I was like, hey, just, you know, go ahead and do a, a tire rotation because I'm lazy and I was getting the oil changed. And they were like, oh yeah, this one keeps spinning. We don't know why. It was rounded off. So I bought some whole new lug nuts. We're going to put some new lug nuts on here as well as keep some of the old ones, I guess. And we'll go from there. And also a fun fact, this is actually the first time I've taken the wheels off this truck, but as you probably imagine, it's rusty. It's not as terrible as it could be for being a 24 year old truck that's probably been in the Midwest its entire life, but it's definitely a little bit rusty in there. Alright, let's switch them. Alright, I got all the tires rotated, luckily. Uh, I had problems with one other lug nut on the other front wheel. But we finally got it off, got some new lug nuts on there, they're pretty shiny. And we'll go ahead and go for a drive to talk about the rest of the stuff that's going on. Yeah, you'll notice that we got the, the new microphones in. I've been using the camera mount one. Let's get the second gear here. See, I got my new camera mounted uh, bleh, microphone on there. One feature I found that I really like of it so far is the fact that the microphone turns its power on and off with the camera's power on and off. Uh, I'm guessing it does it probably through the hot shoe, or I don't, I don't know how exactly it does it, but I do like that feature because uh, it does have a battery, so it will go dead if I leave it on, if I forget it on, unless of course something silly happens and it stays on, but hopefully it shouldn't do that. And of course I'm using the little lavalier microphone I got for recording stuff like this, and hopefully this is a lot better audio than the GoPro camera audio because it was not very good, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I will have to definitely test with this because I have no clue of how it's going to sound. But enough about microphones and cameras, let's talk about the truck. So uh, everything's legal again. Luckily I had to get this thing inspected and relicensed because the, the license plates ran out in February and it's currently May, so that was a little, little expired, but we got all that done, and everything is pretty much legal. The truck actually passed safety inspection perfectly fine, and which was pretty kind of surprising, because there's still things that don't quite work right on it, and they actually had to replace a, a brake light bulb, because it wasn't working for whatever reason. Uh, I never noticed that before, but everything's good. Um, even the exhaust, which isn't really in great of condition, it actually passed, so I'll take it. But that means there's going to be ro road trips coming up because this is my road trip vehicle. In case you didn't realize, uh, I've been I've taken this truck on a lot of road trips since I got it because uh, I never really daily drove it that much, uh, especially to my newer job. I did drive it to Walmart every now and then when I was working there, but that was also right down the road and very, very easy and quick to get to. I didn't have to sit in an hour of rush hour traffic like I did with my job that I was going to before this whole virus started. So all of almost all the 13,000 miles I've driven on this truck in, well, really just a year because I haven't driven it much this year considering it's been uh, illegal to drive it. Uh, it's been mostly road trips and of course in in case you don't remember I drove it to New York City last year in the middle of last year to help a friend move everything went perfectly fine except for my the relay for my turn signals decided to die it didn't really die but it didn't work right after about half maybe halfway through the road trip getting there it started flashing fast and it would flash real slow and you know it was just really kind of random uh, so I replaced, or I fixed that by switching the flasher relay with the turn signal relay, because they're two different relays. 
And now the flashers flash at really random speeds, but the turn signals don't. So I fixed it. Uh, but yeah, that road trip was super fun, super comfortable. That is the main reason that this truck is my road trip vehicle, because I drove this thing for 30 hours during that trip. From St. Louis to New York City, back to St. Louis is 30 hours, at least. And this thing was just so comfortable the entire time. Like, it is the most comfortable vehicle I've ever driven on a road trip. Although, to be fair, I've only driven a very small selection of vehicles on road trips so far, especially that long. Uh, otherwise, I've driven, I drove my dad's truck down to Texas and back earlier this year, and that's about the closest I have. But this thing, it's just, I, it's, it's surprising in how, just how comfortable it is. There's some things that aren't great about it. Uh, it rattles, obviously, as you can possibly hear. Uh, not too terribly. It's not like the super bad rattle. It has some weird kind of rattle that happens whenever you like rev it high. And if I push on the four wheel drive uh, transfer case, like shifter, uh, it doesn't. So I don't know what that issue is. I haven't taken anything apart to see yet though. Uh, it's just some sort of little rattle that you might be able to hear it now. I don't know. I don't know what this microphone's gonna pick up and what it's not gonna pick up. This may all be terrible audio. I have no clue. This is gonna work for this stuff, car reviews, um, like specifically just standing like, you know, having the camera set up over there and then I stand behind, or not behind the car. I'm not gonna pull a complete Doug DeMiro. While my videos may have some similarities to Doug DeMiro's, I'm gonna really just do my own thing as I've always done. I will admit that I have gained inspiration from people like Doug DeMiro, but I don't know. That's a, that's a topic for maybe a different video or something. But car review videos are going to be coming back. And the thing is, is that I'm probably going to redo the video of my Lexus, uh, just because my s style has changed since then, my, the way I do videos, uh, at least compared to like the Mustang video that I did, the last car review I did. So I kinda wanna, I don't know. I just wanna make sure everything is on a specific quality level. That's what I really am striving for and is what I plan on getting. And of course, uh, as I've mentioned in previous videos, if you'd like to have me review a car of yours, if you have an interesting car, low mile car, and just a highly option car, something like that, uh, send me an email at the link in the, or not in the description, but on the video right now, there will be an email address that you can email me, just like your location, uh, a picture of the vehicle or maybe two pictures, whatever, and also some information about it, uh, why you would like me to review it, so on and so forth. And I will be, of course, since I got my road trip vehicle going, I'll take some road trips because I'm sure there's not going to be a lot of people around St. Louis, Missouri that are watching me and have a vehicle that they want me to review. It's just very unlikely. And so otherwise, I don't really have much else to do with the truck itself to get it ready for road tripping, uh, especially because I got the tire rotation finally done after 13,000 miles. I would literally never taken the wheels off this truck before today. So that's that's an adventure. But um, yeah, everything, should else, everything else should be fine. Of course, there's little things that I'd like to do to it here and there. Uh, of course, my AC doesn't work very well, so that's a slight issue, but not a huge one. But uh, otherwise, really, you know, I'll just have to drive it. And I think that might conclude this video, which my GoPro actually just went over 10 minutes of recording time, which is interesting. So thank you all so much for watching, and uh, I hope this audio was good. I hope you're excited for the return of some pretty good quality videos, not just me screwing around with my cars uh, in my driveway. I'm really excited to do something else finally. And... Yeah, that'll be it. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.